Assalamualaikum, Amarna Maria. Assalamualaikum, Amarna Rabia. Welcome to Malay Gerex Channel. Today, we are going to react on a video, The Best Restaurant in Cox Bazar, Bangladesh. And the channel is Kerry Patsalis. Let's watch it. Let's. Just before leaving Cox's Bazaar, I asked Amit if um, we could come to a traditional restaurant that locals would visit. And he has brought me to a place called Hoshi. Whenever I go somewhere new, I really like to get behind the scenes a bit. And I know that the best food is always going to be in the places frequented by locals. And apparently, Poshi is the one. As soon as we arrived, this place looked popular. So it was time to see what all the fuss was about. Here we go, cleaning. Make it perfect. Good service. See what's on the menu. And what's their, what's their best, what's the best dish? It's one of the best dishes. Best dish. Fresh. Fish. <laughs> so the local fish pommes frites yeah. is a favourite, but they also do a range of curries. So sh should we try, for the taste, why don't we try one of their chicken curries? Chicken curry. And, and then if pommes frites the best, let's do the pommes frites. Pommes frites. And let's see how good their pommes frites is. I discovered they're also famous for their vegetable meze offering too. So we're trying a mix of dishes uh, to see what Poshi is all about. Poshi is definitely all about popular and you'll end up sharing your table with others. Poshi, I was looking forward to getting to know this family Poshi? in a short yeah. while. The first thing that they bring, which I've not seen before, is a plate with water and align it to wash your hands. It's like a traditional system, lights back on those are power cuts. Put your hand in, do you? Like that, like that. Oh, oh it's warm. And then two of them. Oh, it's warm. Water's warm. Water's warm. Just rubbing your hand away. There we go. Well, most of them people use their hand. To yes, of course, of course. That's cute, something new I've learned back then. Like it. Now, check out Poshi's vegetable meze. Mm. It looked amazing. Wow. And Amit wow. told me what each one this was. This is interesting. Yeah. This is red leafy. Red leaf, yeah. First time we've seen this right. peanuts. Yeah, lovely. This one is dried fish, smashed dried fish. Mushroom fish, yeah. yeah. Three types. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I haven't tried oh, that. That's nice. I like that one. Smashed potato. Yeah. yeah. This is vegetable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 this is something with dried fish. Wow. Right, this looks good. So this is a vegetable meze, which is perfect for me because it's very traditional. Each item is traditional and it means I just get the chance to try a little bit. And more, and more, and more, and more. So in one and plate more. you can try a lot of... Right, I have to try one of everything. This looks like it's got chilies in this one. Wow, there's a pomfret. Have you done Wonderful. That looks very crispy. It's great, isn't it? Really colourful mix of everything. And we've got curry coming in as well. Chicken, yeah, local chicken. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. We were also given a tomato and onion sauce and some pickles. <laughs> Army doesn't know where to start. Look at this food. Look at it. Oh, but they share. Look at this. Eight, seven, nine, two, Twenty items. Twenty items. I don't know. <laughs> that is. A, it's basically a feast fit for a king. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. It's gonna be what a I like here <laughs> is that they got these really big tables and everyone just sits on a table and you just muck in together. It's great. Where is? Where are these guys from? Are they on holiday? Is it a holiday? Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. Holiday. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. Gonna try the chicken first. Lo local chicken. That is a delicious curry. Really, really well made. The meat's really soft. The sauce is perfect. It's like a perfect balanced sauce. All the flavours are there. Not too much of anything perfectly mixed. I've heard that this place has been around for like 30 plus years. Apparently it was the first restaurant here. Um, wood panelled walls, lovely wooden chairs. It's really, really clean in here as well. Everything is clean. It's it goes to show it must be very, very popular. Right, let's try the veg. 
got spinach. They serve raw onion and raw tomato. Mm. 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 Tastes like it's got a bit of the kind of drying fish in it. It's got a salty, slightly fishy taste. Oh. Mm. Mm. 100%. I might have mixed it with the dried fish mash. Right, now I'm going to try one of my favourite things here, the red leaf. See? <laughs> yeah, full of flavour, as you would expect. The benefit of sharing a table with lovely people is that you get to share each other's food. Right, oh. the guys on the table, very kindly, are yes. going to me try some of their food. We're mixing and matching now. And I've got California, which is a local beef dish. Mm. That's lovely. It's good. <laughs> it's really soft. soft. Yeah, <laughs> very, very tasty. No. Ah, so the beef, they're saying the beef is traditional in Chitagol. Mm -hmm. Something I love about um, Bangladeshi culture is that it's um, sharing is pairing, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, anyone you meet, they're so willing to share everything. So here, we're sat with people we've just met, and we're all sharing the food oh. and sharing stories yes. as well of what we've been doing. It's great. As we just sat there eating and chatting, yeah. the family told me about how much they were enjoying their break. We're asking these guys what they've been doing, and they said just going from the hotel to the beach, checking out the local markets and they're get, taking a boat ride to an island tomorrow. It's very, very popular here. And now for the moment of truth, the famous poshi dish. French time. Let's get into this proper I'm going to have to use my fingers for this easier. Here we go. Ah. Right, love my fried fish. Pommes frites is the fish of choice in Bangladesh. Well, as well as Hilcha. How she eat with the food? Mm. Mm. That's lush. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Full of flavour. I've noticed that guys here, um, they really like their pickles. When we're out in the street, there's often like little stalls selling just pickles. There's people there, I think the pickles. I'm gonna try some. Incoming pickles. That one's really quite sweet. It's mm -hmm. very sweet. <laughs> very nice. Very mm. sour. Right? Yeah. So one thing I'm trying to get better at is eating with my hands. And I find it difficult. It's okay if I've got a bit of bread or a bit like dry fish. But rice, honestly, it's really difficult. And I, I know I look like a five-year-old, but I have to keep on practicing. Someone said to me today, though, that it's much better to eat with your hands because this has been used by many people. It's gone into many people's mouths. Whereas these fingers can't <laughs> walk into anyone's mouth. That's true. Actually, I'll tell you what, somebody else said, a really good friend of mine, Bangladeshi bread in London, he said the best flavours come when you use your hands because you can mix everything together much better than you can with a fork. Right, I'm going to try again. It's going to fall everywhere. Oh, it's so clean. Well done. I've got a little bit in my mouth anyway. I've got to keep on practicing. It's a bit like... It's a bit like if you give me chopsticks and you want me to eat a grain of rice with chopsticks. Massive fail. Another great thing about Bangladesh is that people are relaxed and everyone encourages you to just have a go. So it's really easy to adapt to the local culture. If you're in Kostasar, come to this restaurant and you will not be disappointed. Awesome, thank you so much. Take it easy. Bye bye. 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 Oh, great. Well, that's the place to go. That is the place to visit. My opinion, you'd be hard pressed to find somewhere better than this in Cox's Bazaar. Cox's Bazaar. <laughs> okay, so the name, the restaurant is Hoshi. Mm. Cox's Bazaar. <laughs> yeah, you can the, add 
my uh, in our yeah. list. Yes, yeah, for the restaurant. So Casa Plaza is the longest sea mm. in the world. There's no end. There's the end, but it's very long. <laughs> and it's a tourist spot. So I think we're gonna come there as well because it's uh we see a lot of vlog they visit because it's bazaar mm. it's like cita gong see and all that i think like, this is in the Instagram. you get more knowledge <laughs> <laughs> from the video that yeah. we do vlog <laughs> okay thank you so much to those who recommend this video all the food looks very tempting especially the vegetables, vegetables yeah i love to try that yeah <laughs> because uh i believe the vegetables, some of the vegetables are same in Malaysia, but the way they cook, different. different. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much to those who recommend us this video. We really enjoy it. If you like this video like we do, please share it to your family members and friends. Don't forget to share it to your social media as well. Please subscribe our channel, Malay Gary X, and turn on the notification button so you guys won't miss our latest video. Please follow our social media account, Facebook and TikTok, Malay Gary X. Thank you so much. See you again our next video. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.